Director Wisniewski will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> There's a flag. It's behind, it's behind, behind the tree. Sorry. <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States, States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let the roll call show all members are present with uh, Director Branch uh, attending by speakerphone. Okay, are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? I don't have any. Okay. All right, uh, seeing none, a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Um, that will take us to our resolutions for the starting with the 2014 budget approval. Okay, uh, if you'll start to look through your packet there, you'll see uh, first the uh, budget uh, message, which is the uh, information that's provided with the budget to uh, the um, uh, state when we submit that to uh, DOLA. Uh, and then uh, immediately behind that is the first resolution, uh, which is the resolution to adopt the 2014 budget. Uh, the budget uh, itself should be uh, just behind that. Um, and uh, that would be um, you know, something that a board would uh, need to go ahead and move to adopt that resolution. Okay. And I need to read that into the record, correct? Or I know what you need to do is, um, since everyone has it, or will have it, and it'll be um, in a part of the minute, you can just say the resolution to adopt budget, resolution 12, th you know, 2013 12-1. Okay. Um, motion to adopt uh, resolution number 2013 12-1 to adopt the 2014 budget. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that motion carries. Okay, and then uh, the second resolution is the resolution to set the mill levies, which you'll see has the uh, revised mill levy um, of 7.415, and in addition to refunds and abatements uh, that uh, are due for a total mill levy of 7.466. And again, uh, we would uh, request that um, the board uh, make a motion to adopt that resolution. Okay. Uh, resolution, motion to adopt a resolution to set the mill levies, resolution 2013 11-2. So moved. Second. Oh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 That should be actually 12, 12 2. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I wondered about that. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, last, if we've done it last month, it would have been 11-2. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Right. okay, that motion also carries. Okay, and then immediately behind that are the certification of uh, tax levies, which is the DLG 70 form. We'll also need to have those signed, basically uh, acknowledging the, uh, the um, district has set the mill levy. And then the third resolution, uh, which you'll find following those, is the uh, resolution to appropriate sums of money. Uh, you will note that because we broke uh, the wildland uh, monies out to a separate fund. It now shows general fund and the wildland fund and then the total of all funds uh, that uh, require appropriation. Okay. Uh, motion for resolution to appropriate sums of money. Resolution number 2013. Again, that should be 12-3. 12-3. 12 12, 12 Is that in the packet? Yes, the very last. Oh, that's it, right? That's it. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that also carries. You see the middle areas where the funds are broken down. Yep. Okay. Oh, we caught all the type of food we got three times over. <laughs> it never catches up. Yeah, that stuff all runs together. Okay. That takes care of all of our resolutions. Uh, next item is the legal update. Okay, um, actually uh, things have been uh, 
relatively uh, quiet. Uh, your chief has been uh, busier, and maybe um, uh, I'll just be brief, and then I'd like to uh, go, if we could, to the uh, um, uh, to the trucks because you're going to be entering contracts on those tonight, and that's big. Um, I've looked at the uh, RFPs, talked to him about financing, so you know I've been kept in the loop on it. Um, we thought we had made some progress with the Powell credit. Uh, you've already authorized us to go forward. Uh, Marie has been, um, and, you know, at first they gave us a bunch of information and some checks and it seemed like it was maybe going to work and it's falling right back off the tracks again. So we're going to, um, we, we've already got our authorization. We, we've got our marching orders. We'll do what we got to do. But it's just, uh, we really thought we had gotten somewhere with them and apparently we didn't. So, um, and, um, uh, as far as budget, again, Chief has put a huge amount of time into that. I, I know you guys have seen a couple of diversions earlier. Uh, the one change in that last uh, resolution that we just did on appropriations, we busted out the wildland. Uh, and the reason we did that, and no other, normally we wouldn't even bust out that, but that one has been kind of a, a confusion. Uh, it's caused some confusion in people's minds. Because we get some money in, then we pay it out to um, firefighters and whatnot, and then whatever is um, the rent for, on the vehicles that we actually also uh, provide to the Forest Service um, will then get transferred back in. And that's how we're going to deal with it. But we are going to show it as a separate entity so that people um, aren't confused by it. We, whether it was intentional on their part or not, but some of the people who were opposing us in um, the uh, mill levy increase were using that, saying, look, all this money they were paying volunteers and other people for, and blah, 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 and, um, uh, which really was just a passive. You guys have to take that money in and pass it through, and so that's why Chief wanted to split it out. And I, I want to give that explanation because it's a little different than the earlier versions. I mean, he had it split out all along, but why we did it the way we did. Okay. Anything else? That, I can't think of anything else that we've really been doing this month. I think it's been pretty quiet. Yes. Next, early next month is the trial, and uh, those of you, who, and the only other person who I've got to uh, uh, talk to is they now are talking about Annie Eichel, so that they want her, and I haven't spoken to her, so but they have something, you know, um, a. Uh, waiver of service for her as well, so I've got to talk to her. I don't even know if she's going to be in town or anything else, so, um, but I, I didn't know that they had her until I saw the list come across my desk. So. Are you going to be able to get it where you knew, yes. like, what, just when we'll have to be there? Yes. Okay. And I don't think I, um, and I'll only take 30 seconds for this, but I don't think I told you that I've been added to the list as well. <laughs> and, you know, last time I was called by um, uh, Dolan's lawyers, well this time I'm being called um, by Cole's lawyers. Okay. Never a dumb moment around this place. <laughs> All right. What, so, maybe someday. Will you send around an email as to... When Time and all that, yeah, absolutely. Because exactly. right now we're all supposed to be there at 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning, I think it is. Tuesday, what? The 17th? 6th. Oh, January. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you haven't been called. No, I haven't been yeah. called because I. But, but if you want to go I, by I for go it, yeah. Well, yeah. oh, okay. If you want to go by and watch it, it's yeah. gonna. Um, they will be. Um, it's gonna be a jury trial, so they'll be seating the jury um, that that morning, the oh. six, and then um, uh, it'll go. Um, you guys are all being called by um, the defense, Cole's lawyers, those who are being called. So we don't know exactly how quickly the um, plaintiff's case will go, and so that's why it's difficult to know. I mean, that's why I can't tell you right now, and they can't tell you anything. It'll be on another day, couldn't it? Oh, it will not be on Tuesday at all. Oh, no, it'll be, right. um, I'm thinking the 8th, maybe even the 9th, before any of us will be going on. And what we'll try and do is, once we get some time slots, um, and as they see it happening, then I'll try and get to you guys and say which one, because I don't think they care. I think we're all 
fungible basically to them. And, uh, um, I don't think they care which one comes first. So if it's a bad time, you know, one o'clock's bad for you, but two works okay, and maybe Mike can slide in at one or something. So okay. I can't imagine that anybody's going to be on for very long. You've all been asked the same questions, and um, uh, Alec, I think, may have had the longest session with them, and that was still less than an hour, wasn't it, Alec? Yeah. So, um, you know, so even if they go through exactly all that and direct, they can't go over the exact same questions on cross. They can ask some different questions, but I can't see anybody out for really more than an hour. Would be my, if, if I was doing a trial, that's how I'd be predicting it or something. Okay. So that's all, that's all I've got. All right. Thank you. So, uh, but if you wouldn't mind going to the, Trucks, so I could uh, be part of that. Okay. I would appreciate it. Um, skip to that right now. Okay, so you do have one more resolution in there, and that is uh, resolution uh, 2013 4 which is authorizing the purchase of apparatus and means purchase financing. Uh, and um, <coughs> we uh, had submitted RFPs for uh, provision of uh, stock or demo trucks basically trucks that uh, met the, um, the criteria of the uh, California State Model 34 uh, standard or uh, comparable uh, truck. And um, we sent that uh, RFP to a number of uh, different vendors. Uh, we had four uh, bids returned. And um, of those bids, uh, HME, which has the current uh, Colorado or California contract, uh, provided the lowest bid uh, with a bid of $497,076 for two trucks. And basically, uh, they're bidding this at the California State bid price, which is uh, over $40,000 less than the next, uh, the next uh, bid that we received. Uh, so, and, you know, considerably under our, our original uh, budget for the trucks. Now, what we had originally planned to uh, basically do some design changes uh, to the trucks to make them, you know, kind of fit more of what we were looking at doing. However, uh, the pricing on, you know, doing that would have been uh, push the truck prices up to around 350 or 360, mm -hmm. uh, and um, we would have been looking at a nine-month delivery time. Mm -hmm. The two trucks that uh, that HME. Uh, Bid are actually uh, built and on the shore show room floor. So they are available uh, basically. Uh, we could enter into the contract tomorrow, and uh, you know, as soon as uh, we have the financing arranged, uh, be able to go pick those trucks up. Um, we did actually have to send one truck out uh, recently. It uh, got into a little bit of an accident on the ice, uh, slid into a ditch, and it's going to be out for a little bit uh, getting some work done on it. So obviously, it's uh, timely for us to move ahead uh, with the uh, with the proposal. Uh, I was going to make uh, copies of this for our, each of you. Unfortunately, the printer is uh, kind of messed up. So, but that is the brochure on the uh, trucks and the actual uh, proposal that they provided to that. Um, the committee met, reviewed all of the trucks, and uh, made a unanimous recommendation uh, to. Uh, purchase two of the stock uh, California Model 34 uh, trucks. The uh, resolution 2013-124 uh, authorizes, uh, would authorize me to uh, enter into the purchase agreement with uh, HME, uh, basically to sign the contract, and it would authorize the uh, uh, leasing of the, of the equipment uh, through uh, our current, currently our low bidder on that is uh, Municipal An Asset Management. And they came in with a bid of, uh, you know, really pretty remarkably inexpensive uh, um, funding, which is, uh, let's see, their bid was for 2.21% uh, uh, for a seven year term. Wow. And uh, with a, a payment of seventy-seven thousand four hundred twenty-five annually for uh, seven years, uh, and two point two per, uh, percent was 
well below what uh, any of the other um, banks uh, were, uh, were quoting us. And uh, so my recommendation is to go ahead with that uh, financing. Question. In your memo you say, I recommend we go ahead with five-year financing. Um, but it probably should be seven. Years. Seven years, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we just did a lease purchase for a couple hundred thousand in another district and it was a higher percentage rate than this for five years. So this is, uh, yeah, this is, as he said, they're giving away money right now. And take it. Take it. <laughs> yeah, so I would, I would recommend that you take the two yeah. years. Take um, the deal. Yeah, the extra two years uh, at this rate, I think it, you're paying a little extra interest, I realize, but it, um, you guys have been in a cash crunch for such a long time that this will help you get healthier quicker. Right. The, uh, the difference uh, between the five and seven year over the life of it is about $14,000, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it drops the, the payments down by about 25000 a year initially, so it, it gives us a little more cushion over the next several years. Um, that, you know. that, that brochure indicated they have caps on uh, the the ones the stock units do not have uh, caps, unfortunately. Uh, that um, the the current uh, the way that they're building the current model of those uh, it's not really compatible with it, including caps on it. Uh, there just isn't room to put it, and a large part of that is because uh, with with the recent changes in the uh, international chassis to accommodate the exhaust uh, cleaning. Uh, basically, uh, it takes up pretty much any of the space that was available on those chassis a couple of years ago. So, uh, well, that brochure is out of Yeah, the brochure is actually a couple of years old. Uh, the trucks uh, are very similar to what's shown on the model, on the cover. Um, there, overall, there's been very little change in, in that style of truck uh, mm -hmm. over the, about the eight or nine years that they've been uh, providing them to California. And you, as I understand it, proposed that we move ahead with the tenders in 2014? Yes, uh, you know, after uh, starting to work with uh, various uh, vendors for that, uh, they indicated that uh, we were on too tight of a timeline to, to get the uh, <coughs> RFPs, um, you know, basically bid, and we would probably only see uh, at most one or two bids on that. So we opted to move that to January so that we can have a more competitive uh, field uh, to choose from. We had hoped to purchase chassis prior to the end of the year. Unfortunately, the price increases you know, happened before we were ready. Um, they didn't hold out to the end of the year, basically, because the, you know, they had some pretty major changes in the exhaust, again, the exhaust uh, systems on those chassis uh, continue to kind of drive the, the changes and the price uh, increases. Okay. Any other questions on this? Okay, seeing none, a motion for a resolution authorizing the purchase of apparatus and lease purchase financing. Resolution number 2013-12-4. So Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That motion carries. There's no way you can moonlight on the size of my personal financial advisor, can you? <laughs> 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 I think we're good. Okay. If you don't need any more, I'm um, going to get out of here. And, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, thank you. Merry Christmas, Carol. And uh, uh, I, will stay, um, I will stay in the loop with the Chief on the RFPs and the responses on the tenders, but it looks like it's moving. Kind of the way we'd hope, so uh, it's too bad we didn't make the end of the year, but it's better to get the bids. You're going to be happier in the long run, I think. So. All right, so you everybody have a great end of the year, and uh, we'll see you next year. It's hard to believe we're saying that already, but. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, uh, review the November 14th, 2013 regular meeting minutes. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Abstain. Okay.
All right, that will take us to financial matters. Alec? Um, you have in front of you the uh, financial report for November 2013. Uh, as, uh, in the normal format, um, I've reviewed the, the report with Marie and the Chief, um, and therefore I move that we approve expenses in the amount of $127,403. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. I also have a copy of the original of a uh, uh, retention letter for our auditor for 2000, 2013 year from Ruben Brown, uh, who audited us last year. I have discussed the uh, elements of this with both the chief and uh, with the folks at Ruben Brown. Uh, they are uh, proposing to do the, pretty much the same audit they've done in the past. I think there's a slight increase in their fee. Um, I think it's 11000 for us and 3500 for the pension plan. Is that, that's correct. That's uh, correct. Because of some changes in the pension plan, plan auditing requirements. Yeah, added there's a, a change in that. Um, so I have the management level here, letter here, and I uh, recommend we go ahead with it. So I'd like to have a motion from the board approving the uh, retention of Reuben Brown and Associates as our auditor for this year. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, I think that's it. We still have to talk to the PPA on that volunteer pension situation. Right. But we'll report that. Once we talk about that once we yeah. have an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> thank you. That's all I have. Okay, any questions? Okay, fire chief's report. Okay, um, we had a relatively slow month in uh, November. Total of 63 calls, uh, uh, one chimney fire, one car fire, uh, very little um, uh, fire loss, about $800 in the car fire. Um, it was, uh, I believe, the slowest month we've had uh, this year. Uh, typical, um, you know, kind of off-season slowdown uh, until the cold weather hit, and uh, December is going to be a much bigger month for that. I think we ran, uh, we ran 13 calls in the first. 24 hours of that cold spell <coughs> and barely slowed down after that. So, okay. uh, chimney fires, uh, broken pipes. Uh, mm -hmm. We had three different sprinkler systems uh, that, that broke and flooded businesses. Um, a number of car wrecks, yeah. uh, you know, typical cold weather stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, there wasn't much uh, of any really significance in the in the calls uh, last month. Um, we had uh, uh, four mutual aid that we received, four that we provided, and um, average turnout and response times were pretty much the same as they are each month that have been over the past year. Uh, in training, we did finish up the uh, Firefighter 2 program, and uh, Testing for the firefighters is scheduled uh, for early January, um, and then we will be entering the uh, driver operator class. We're also uh, starting to uh, work on advertising and, and recruiting for the uh, February EMT class, so we're going to be uh, targeting um, community members who would be interested in becoming volunteer EMTs uh, to enter into that class and uh, join the department at that time. Um, we do have uh, two communities that we're currently working on Firewise community status with. Uh, we've had uh, two of our neighborhoods in the past have, have had that, uh, that designation, so uh, it's looking like both of those will have their uh, submissions in before the end of the month, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing a total of four Firewise communities in the district uh, uh, by early next year, which will be uh, a good good step forward. Um, then the last thing there is uh, the information which I just gave you verbally about the uh, bids on the uh, fire apparatus. Um, we are uh, again going to uh, uh, review bids on the tenders in uh, early January for hopefully for a presentation by the January meeting. Uh, and then uh, the rescue pumper that we had discussed uh, 
we're going to be uh, basically tackling that after after the tenders are uh, are completed. Uh, we did sell the old rehab unit to Platte Canyon. Uh, they're going to be putting it back in service as an ambulance, um, and uh, we are actually working on some. Uh, various horse trading with Platte Canyon. Uh, they have a uh, crew supervisor's vehicle that's essentially what we were looking at picking up for a uh, you know service body squad truck for uh, instead of having the um, uh, you know pickup trucks and, and SUVs that we've had. Uh, and they're also interested in purchasing uh, engine 433, our conifer mountain engine that we were going to be selling once the Type 3s came in. Uh, they are interested in putting that out at the uh, grant station, um, so that's a, a apparently a better better rig than they currently have out there, and obviously that's a, not a super busy station, so you know they, they think that that'll be a suitable uh, apparatus for out there. So uh, we're kind of going back and forth on uh, you know uh, what we can trade, and uh, everybody get what they want out of the deal, which is a good thing rather than having to spend the time trying to sell and buy uh, different apparatus. <coughs> and then once again, we did 431 is out of service uh, probably for the next uh, month uh, due to the um, damage that occurred when it slid off the road on uh, last Sunday. And that's all I have. Any questions, Coach? Okay, old business. Um, financial policy and procedures? That uh, we don't have any progress made on that at this point, yeah. so uh, we'll have to continue that into next month. Okay. Collections committee. And that was a proposal by um, Richard to have at least one board member, Richard, Marie, and myself, uh, you know, put together a committee to look at our ambulance billing policies and determine what we want to do about collections as we move forward. Uh, you know, as, as we've seen, uh, you know, our, we've had a number of issues with, uh, uh, you know, the collection agency we've been using, um, but we also have to address uh, our overall policy, whether we want to continue to try to take people to collections or whether we want to start accepting assignments or basically, you know, accepting a reduced amount on, uh, on those. We do have a financial hardship policy in place, but many people simply don't take care of it or take advantage of that, and they, they end up going to collections. And then, unfortunately, we've seen very little money out of out of what has been sent to collections over the past several years. So, I would ask the board to appoint uh, one individual to uh, to be on that committee, and we'll sometime in January sit down and start. Um, is there a volunteer? Okay. Director Fox has volunteered to sit on that committee. Okay. Let me know where I'm going. All right. Okay, thanks. We won't start until January at this point. <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> any other old business? That'll take us to new business. Is there any new business? Uh, there is a piece of new business. Uh, I don't know if it's been done here before, but uh, the board has had some discussion and thought about recognizing Chief McLaughlin for the, what we consider to be the exceptional service that he's performed over the last almost two years. Uh, from the time he, he arrived and had to deal with Lower North Fork within six weeks of his arrival, uh, to the various reforms. Uh, that he's undertaken in the department, seeing, I think, or rebuilding the reputation of, of Bell Creek amongst the members of the community such that uh, they voted to support the latest mill levy increase to bring our capital equipment and, and other uh, facilities up to date. And so, therefore, uh, I would like to move that we award Chief McLaughlin uh, a bonus uh, in the amount of $5,000. Second. Okay, that has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, aye. 
I would also like to echo a lot of what Alex said and also point out that um, when Joe Page left, we basically lost a training chief uh, for, uh, when we had to do layoffs because of our budget cuts. Uh, um, chief had to jump through a lot of hoops to set something up with Evergreen to help out with those duties. Um, a lot of the paid staff and a lot of the volunteers have picked up a lot of staff, so a lot of the slack. However, it should be pointed out basically that the chief has done the job of two um, after Joe Page left. So I think as far as a $5,000 bonus, uh, the district and the taxpayers are money way ahead for the chief to do two people's jobs for, for a $5,000 bonus that he didn't know he was going to get. So it's my pleasure to present the chief with a $5,000 bonus check. Merry Christmas. <laughs> thank, for, thank you for your wonderful service. Oh, thank you. you. You guys have done a great job in supporting what I've been doing and helping uh, you know, move this department in a, in a good direction. So I very much appreciate your support and, and uh, certainly appreciate this considerably. You earned it. I think your efforts towards the mill levy and our citizens group uh, helping and you uh, all the extra meetings you had to go to and everything, that's money well spent. So, thanks again. Okay. Um, any other comments from directors? Okay. Uh, any other new business? Oh, there is one comment. I wanted to, okay. wanted to thank the department for uh, the assistance with the parade. Mm -hmm. The Connor for Christmas parade was, in spite of the bitter cold weather, <laughs> a huge success. And in no small part due to the department in Santa Land, it was wonderful. So, well, thanks. thank yeah, you very much. You guys did a fantastic job with that, and, and we have our cookie eating champion. Here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Duty call. Yeah. Book deal. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Thanks. Coney Island is next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Seeing no other new business, that'll take us to citizens' issues. Seeing none, how about a motion to adjourn? So, so moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. At 1840.